and here's another e-ink dress, right? It is. Hi. So this dress was designed by Bergmeier Associates, their company in Boston, Massachusetts, and they had a unique design challenge where they had to create um, outfits using non-traditional textiles. And so they contacted us and asked if they could use e-ink material. This is our prism film, and you can see they've integrated it here, and it is subtly changing from black to white. And there's like a, a battery on the back somewhere? That's yes, so we um, have it plugged in here at the show, but it was yeah. originally with a battery pack. They had three of these outfits and they won Best in Show at the Design Festival. Nice, so it's definitely coming for closing. The it smart closing business clothing. is going to be full of e-ink stuff in the smart closing, right? It could be if we have designers and integrators that are willing to um, develop such a thing. Nice, and there's some huge, the Quirk Logic, the Quilla. Yep, so these are the Quilla boards. These are ready to ship. They are shipping the now. We ship, um, we work with Quilla. We provide the 42 inch black and white panel. Quilla does the integration and all of the software for their smart interactive whiteboards. Nice, and uh, up here, looking at yes. the light, and this light is, uh, is So also? this is using the Prism Architecture Film. Um, and it is a, uh, we just designed it here in house. So the film is just wrapped around this form. As you can see, you can cut different shapes into it and still have the material switch. Oh, nice. So uh, you can, we can kind of like program how often it needs to, how quickly yeah, and stuff it yes. shift and stuff like that. Yep, you could. And uh, let's look over there. There's sure. more. This is, this is an interesting yeah, project. So over here we're talking about um, a very special art installation. So um, an artist in California, Uberall, it's an artistic firm, they were awarded a contract from the San Diego International Airport to create a living art sculpture on the outside of the building. This one is a color shifting back and forth, right? So that, this video here explains about prism material itself, but the art installation is using these black and white panels. So that's the one up there. Mm -hmm. And these, uh, these are shifting, like they, these are right yep. here? so these are the panels. This is the actual panel that's up on the building. It's all powered by solar. There's a little capacitor in here. Each one of these tiles, and there are 2,100 of them on the building, are autonomous. They talk to each other, and they sequence through an animation that the artist created. And they, they call it Uberall. Uberall is the name of the firm that came up with the design and who worked with us to install it. Nice. Yeah. So let's walk uh, sure. over here. So uh, right here you have some... Uh, so over here we have stuff. quite a lot of different, um, sort of the newest Machine. generations cool. of um, e-writing tablets, foldable displays. So this is definitely happening in 2018. Is if it? we have a customer who is willing yeah. to launch something, yes. Uh, so uh, what's the difference in price between, a, a, let's say, a display that's fl that's not flex as flexible or are they actually the same? This is also a flexible display, right? It is, yes. So it's actually the same display? It's or? the same display. Ah, it's just the same display, just a different way of using it. Correct, yep. So actually the, the cost kind of is the same? It, it could be. Um, that sort of thing depends on size, it depends on volume, a lot of different factors. So this is a recent release by a company in Japan. Um, it is an e-manga. And so what they've done was they wanted people to feel like they were still interacting with a book. So they actually enclosed it in something that looks like a book. And yet it fits the entire series. Um, of e-manga publications, I think there's 260 something in here. And it just switches, so it's a real product? Yeah. Is yeah. shipping? It is. They started shipping, uh, they start in February. And it's two seven, uh, six inch or it's more? I think these are um, 7.8. 7 7.8 inch. Yeah. All right. And this one I think is so awesome. It's so beautiful. It's so light. It is. Yep. It's using a flexible display so you don't have to worry about the weight of the glass. It also makes it more robust. You can drop it without worrying about breaking the TFT. So uh, for now, um, these kinds of, and this is also a beautiful one. This is the latest Sony. That is. Yeah. Uh, it's beautiful, but these devices still, if people want to buy them, they're like 
This is around 800, 700, 800 dollars, right? It's, it's mainly because the, the panel is not in, into very, very large quantities yet, or? There's a combination of factors. So they're using a large, flexible display. There are not a lot of customers that are using them. But, <coughs> excuse me, the bigger issue really is how does the company um, drive the display? What kind of software are they putting together? How much? Um, design work has gone into that. Yeah. So there's a lot of things that affect pricing, not just panel. So right there, if I take this one, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. then I can, uh, this, um, so it's a beautiful new Sony, very, very light. Very uh, thin. But uh, if, if this becomes a huge market, which is what I'm hoping, <laughs> is a dream that everybody should start buying these, right? I agree. Then the prices can come down for the e-ink panel, right? Potentially, yeah. Potentially. Because I mean, this, this the needs panel to be is only everybody. one part of pricing, right? So okay. the companies right now, they're spending a lot of money on R&D and development for software. So that all gets baked into the cost of the product. All right. Uh, what is this one? So this is a really cool new device. It is an e-learning tablet um, with a customer in China called OK. So what they're doing is it's interactive learning for students. So the questions are up here. You answer the question. Yeah, maybe. So it's testing, um, and they're utilizing a um, an LCD on one hand and an EPD on the other. So that. So it's capacitive down here. Yep, and they have. I don't think you, yeah, this is, I cannot read Chinese, so I can't go through all of the different menuing options, but you can write on this, and you can actually send the content from here to the LCD, or if you're reading something on the LCD, you can pull it over to the EPD. And uh, right here is another uh, larger book, larger, right here. Yep. They, they even in integrated the HDMI, so it's a monitor. Mm -hmm. It's a HDMI monitor right here. And uh, Remarkable also got uh, uh, lots of talk about on the internet, right? Yeah, this has got um, a lot of interest and they are um, back ordered. People are waiting some time for their so prices good to that come they're, in because they're still they popular because uh, it they have sold way more than people expected. Quantities that helps, uh, helps hopefully bring the cost down for the. For uh, at least the part that's the e-ink display, of course. Well, this is a stuff. standard panel. This yeah. is a 10.3, um, so it's a standard display. But it's still a new one. 10.3 is kind of like a new... It's a new. newer size, um, but it's using a glass-backed TFT. So there's nothing yes. incredibly new about yeah. that technology. But they've done a lot of work on the software, and so it has um, a pressure sensitivity when you draw. It's great for sketching and it's extremely fast. All right. And uh, here we're looking at some shelf labels. This is a this is a huge market with the yep. shelf labels and uh, the, of course the e-readers. Yep, we have more e-readers here, and then these are by our partner Visionet, who has yeah. different conference room signage. So um, they have some. Oh, this one is a big one. Yeah. Do you mind holding this? Nope. That's a nice big one. So so what is that for? Um, so it could be for conference rooms, it could be for wayfinding, it can be for general information. So it can really, the user can decide what information they want to be able to put on this. So that uh, transfers the data from somewhere and kind yep. of triggers and... Yep. And this one that you could see they put a thick glass top on it, give some robustness to it, a little bit more polished look. That could be right there on the side of a, of a meeting room door. And, uh, yeah, yeah, I know that you see. Uh, is there any chance you can grab a, you should have, that's the radio or that the stuff um, from there? In a second. Yeah. Yeah. Or I can't. Let's, let's walk over there. Yeah. Yeah. So that's cool. Yeah, so this is a. Um, Whoa. It is a music. Um, device. Yeah. Yep. So two 13-inch flexible displays. You can download your music scores. You can annotate to it. Make your notes. Yeah. That's really cool. Is it shipping? It is. Yes. So it's a Guido. Yep. And it was originally launched. Actually, a Japanese Japan, company. Uh, but did it a video is with them. Yep. Yeah. And it's selling in the U.S. now. They just and when launched I the, the new video store. was just a prototype. Man, not Really shipping. It is really shipping, and they just launched their updated uh, content store actually this week. Probably more than a thousand dollars, right? It's, it's, uh, because you need two big displays. Yeah. It's not the. It's probably you don't know the price, right? 
I believe it's 1300 1300 yeah. All right. And then we have the luggage. Yep. So we have luggage tags luggage. over here. So this is the one with Ramoa. Yeah. Um, so again, you have an app when you check in. It updates your luggage tag yeah. for your destination. Yeah. And some smaller luggage over here. So these ones can be separate from your, you know, so you don't have to yeah. buy it integrated into luggage or you can yeah. buy it integrated. All right. Let me jump over here. Uh, right there, some uh, some shoes. Yep. So the shoes and the handbag are both using the architectural prism film. What's That's cool about so these nice. is you can yeah. actually change the pattern through an app. So um, you have an app, you download it onto your phone, is and it then. Both sides? No. No, it's just. I mean, it could be, but in but this particular so cool. case, yeah. It, it feels. It looks like a. Is there a brand? Uh, no, we made these. You made those samples, yeah, right? Just so people could see that you can put them in shoes, you can put them in purses. You can and have your dog here. You could have your dog here. You get a picture your of yourself. If you have kids, and then right? you can put kids there. You could. Put the, the, the family right here. That looks really nice. And you can also, is it Bluetooth to the phone? How do you update the image? There is an app on your phone, yes. It's also fantastic. Yeah. This, that's both e ink uh, prototypes, right? Yes. And somebody's doing e-ink on a, this? Yeah, so we have a number of different yeah. smartwatches. Yeah. Um, so we've got, this is a newer one here. It is so by it, who? So this is, I believe this is our prototype. And what they're doing is they're using um, one of our displays with a hole in the middle, and then they actually have watch movement behind it. So all around here is... Uh, is e ink oh there wow oh, that's so cool so we see mountains what what is that what does it represent ah, so how busy you're gonna be during the week maybe mm -hmm. the calendar the steps are gonna be steps, showing yeah. oh that's really cool I want this watch <laughs> can you put that display in my uh, it needs to be the back on my yes. swatch because <laughs> yeah. my swatch is great but it's not smart so you need to do some deals yeah. with the And then this is the new Epson guys. GPS watch. Well, so Epson is out with the e-ink watch yes. for GPS. Yep. And it's available on their website. And it is a bunch of ooh, switches. Has all kinds of UIs. Nice. Cool. Yeah. GPS. So if people get lost or something. Exactly. Well, you know, runners, hikers, yeah. boaters, everybody finds that useful. Is that a Nokia? Uh, yep. So this is the Why Things Go. So I'm actually wearing one of them as well. I've walked a lot of steps this be, here this at been CES. This for a year or two already, right? Yes. Markets? Yep. But it's great. They're waterproof. They're really um, low, low power. What time is it? Are you used to it? Using it? Yep. Ah, you just click and that, there you see. So what was the other stuff? That was your steps? Those are my steps for the day. So I'm here at CES. I've walked quite a bit. It's actually quite awesome, right? Yeah, it's very awesome. Very good. And it's um, very affordable, is it? It is quite affordable. 79, 69, something? So this is a um, medical patch. So in its... What it's doing is it's got a you know flat battery here. It's got a sensor, so it's designed for um, medical monitoring and adherence. So when um, a patient needs to update one of their patches and they push the button, it will tell them whether it's accepted or whether they need to press it again. It gives them a countdown for how long the medication is going to still be viable, um, or it reminds them to remove the the patch and put a new one on. So in the medical field, you thin. have solutions. It's like a credit card. Yeah, that just and has a whole bunch of electronics. So you actually affix it right to your so arm. So this is flexible plastics electronics, yep. right? And battery. Yep. The battery. Where is that? The Under whole, that. Yeah. Oh, there's a flexible battery right here. Mm -hmm. The whole thing is flexible. Yeah. It's nearly edible. <laughs> All right. Cool. And uh, what is this? so this is the newest Yoda phone. It's the Yoda Phone Three. So it's LCD on one side, EPD on the other. How big is the EPD here? Um, this is a 5.2 inch. So they upgraded every, the Yota phone 1, 2, 3, had, every time they had an upgrade, yep. it was better and better each time? Yes. Right. And the users of the Yoda phone are quite happy. They, they are reading a lot. They are. In a yep. nice way. And actually Hisense has one out as well. 
So same concept, LCD on one side, EPD on the other, and they're also showing this in their booth out in Central Hall. Nice. So if it gets turned off. when did that launch? Um, this year, I'm not sure. Uh, in 2017, I'm not exactly sure yes. when. So a few months ago. Black and white yeah. Yes. All right. Yep. And that's the ink case. This ink case here is for. It fits uh, a large phone. It's for what it looks like a iPhone Plus size. Yeah. yeah. This is for a black and white. And in Voxia, it's doing a. It's a little radio. Um, and you can actually um, make phone calls through. So it's Bluetooth. You can have you know radio stations pre-programmed. There's an app on your phone, so you can change the display to be updated with your own content. Cool. What are you doing with those T-shirts here? These actually have a price tag on them. So this is our partner Powercast, and they're doing updatable clothing tags. They do a wireless power. Yes, so it's through NFC. So you have a wand, you scan the wand, the you price can update. You have to close to them to do it happen, or you can just um, blast it, can, those. it could be, I mean, you don't stand feet away from it, but you don't have to be right on top of it. And then each of them get updated automatically. Those little tags right here. And when you get out of the store, they recycle the tags. Yeah. Right? So just they, put it on another. Exactly. Nice. All right. So always busy, right? At always week. busy. Yes. And, Thank um, you. Hopefully, we'll get some uh, large quantities of the large displays. I think those are very, very interesting. They are. Because uh, we have a lot of customers interested. Stop only watching Netflix all the time. They need to start making something creative, right? <laughs> That's right. All right. Read more. <laughs>